souls Dancing in the night we saw Breaking down the barriers, open the door Try on dreams right before your eyes A future painted in the skies Here and I, all the future unfolds Stories untold, watch the magic we hold Our whispers, feel the pulsing night A world of wonder, baby Welcome back, visual learners. You're tuned into VL Extras, where we chase the wildest innovations with a visual spark. For decades, the dream of a flying motorcycle belonged to science fiction, the kind of thing you'd see in Star Wars or read in a speculative tech blog. Think of the Star Wars speeder bikes racing through the Endor's forests. But on May 1st, 2025, that dream took flight. Without hype or fanfare, Tomasz Patan, the genius behind Jetson 1, unveiled the Volanut Airbiker machine that doesn't just fly, it redefines riding. This isn't a drone or a winged car. It's a jet-powered rotor-free hoverbike that screams freedom. I'm buzzing. Let's soar into this story. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join our tribe of tech dreamers. Our story starts in Gdansk, Poland, with Tomasz Patan, a kid obsessed with flight. Tomasz Patan isn't your typical engineer. He's a disruptor who sees flight as freedom. Growing up in Gdansk, he was that kid who'd rather build model aircraft than play video games. Picture him in the 90s, building remote-controlled planes in his garage, dreaming of skies without limits. That spark led him to Gdansk University of Technology, where he mastered aeronautics and engineering. By his 20s, Patan was crafting drones and helicopters, but he wanted more personal flight for everyone. His mantra? Build fun stuff that breaks boundaries. From model planes to a sci-fi hoverbike, Patan's journey is one of grit, vision, and a knack for making the impossible real. By 2010, he was experimenting with large-scale drones, but his big break came in 2021 when he co-founded Jetson, a startup hell-bent on personal aviation. He introduced the Jetson 1, a single-seat electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Weighing just 115 kilo, the Jetson 1 features a space frame made from a special aluminum alloy inspired by race car roll cages, providing high rigidity and occupant protection. Equipped with eight electric motors, it can reach speeds up to 102 kilometers per hour and fly for approximately 20 minutes. The aircraft includes safety features like automatic landing, a ballistic parachute, and LiDAR sensors for obstacle avoidance. Its design emphasizes safety, ease of use, and a cocoon-like experience for the pilot. The Jetson 1, priced at $128,000, is set for production in 2026. Its first public flight in February 2025 wowed crowds, with Patan proving personal flight isn't a pipe dream. But Patan wasn't done. While Jetson 1 was about utility, his next project, the Volanaut Airbike, is about feeling the sky. Now, the star of the show, the Volanaut Airbike, unveiled May 1, 2025. This isn't just a flying bike, it's a jet-powered hoverbike with no rotors. Picture this, a sleek carbon fiber frame, seven times lighter than a typical motorcycle. Its 3D printed components keep it minimalist, almost cyberpunk. No propellers, no wings, just jet propulsion, possibly ducted fans or turbines, though Patan's keeping that magic under wraps, through tight spaces like a bird. On X, one user posted, this is the closest we'll get to Endor, and I'm feeling that vibe. The airbike's design screams freedom. Unlike the Jetson 1's cocoon, it's open air no cage, just you leaning forward, wind in your face, with a 360 degree view. Controlled by two joysticks and body tilts, it's intuitive, almost like riding a bike. The real genius? A proprietary stabilization system and flight computer that auto hovers, making it newbie friendly. Patan tested it in Poland, weaving through forests and valleys, and the footage, pure adrenaline. No AI, no green screen, just a killer camera and FPV drones, Patan told Rob Report. This thing looks like CGI. It's a hoverbike flying around the desert like a Star Wars speeder, and the internet's totally divided about it. Half of them screaming fake, half of them screaming take my money. But if you dig into it, you'll find some clues that answer the question. This is the prototype complete with a Honda gas tank and a scorched landing pad under it, which means it's got jet turbine engines. The same engines used in jet packs like the Flyboard Air, which happens to be way smaller. So no, it's not practical, but yes, it is real. What do you think? Patan Hass got flair on Star Wars Day, May 4th, he dropped a viral video of a stormtrooper riding the airbike through a forest, Return of the Jedi style. X exploded with May the 4th be with you posts, and a Volanaut's teaser racked up thousands of shares. But this isn't just hype. 
The airbike's sculpted landing stands ensure soft touchdowns and red tail lights boost safety. It's built to thread through urban jungles or soar over deserts, redefining personal mobility. The first stable flight in May 2023 was a triumph after years of stealth development. But questions linger. How long can it fly? New Atlas estimates two to three minutes based on weight, though Patan's tight-lipped. What's the cost? No word yet, but Jetson 1's $128,000 price suggests a premium tag. And safety? Jet engines need maintenance, and skeptics on X worry it's a death trap. Patan counters with his stabilization tech, but real-world tests are key. This isn't a clip from Star Wars. This is a demo of the airbike made by a company called Volonaut that just recently came out of stealth mode. Only known as Star Wars Day, Volonaut released a video of its airbike piloted by someone in a stormtrooper outfit and flying through a forest that looks very similar to Endor, the Star Wars planet inhabited by those legendary Ewoks. <laughs> With a top speed of 124 miles per hour, Volonaut says the airbike is seven times lighter than a traditional motorcycle due to the use of carbon fiber materials. You'll notice there aren't any propellers around this vehicle. That's because Volonaut says it's powered by jet propulsion. We've seen jet propelled personal flying machines before on What the Future, including the Jet Suit from Gravity Industries, the Jet Racer from Zapata, and the Lazarus LMV 496 a motorcycle that transforms between drive mode and flight mode. We've also seen propeller-based flying motorcycles like the Hoverbike Scorpion 3. Volonaut says the choice to use jet propulsion instead of propellers allows the airbike to be more maneuverable in tight spaces, and we certainly see that on display in its video flying through the forest with trees passing by on either side. You can also see in the demo videos how the airbike's jet propulsion system is kicking up dust and debris on the ground beneath it as it passes by. None of the demo videos Volonaut has shared so far show the airbike taking off or landing, and none of the demo videos allow us to hear clean audio of what the jet engine sounds like as the airbike zips around. A friend who rides a motorcycle once told me she sometimes calls cars cages because of how they separate the driver from the environment and Volonaut seems to be making a similar argument in favor of their open air bike design. The company says its 360 degree view helps the rider become one with the vehicle and gives a feeling of complete freedom. Like other personal flying machines, the air bike has to contend with the fact that many people have a hard time with driving, let alone flying. Volonaut says the air bike has built in stabilization enhanced by a flight computer that provides automatic hover and makes controlling the vehicle easier. The airbike is a new project from Polish inventor Thomas Patan, co-founder of Jetson and head of innovation behind the Jetson 1 personal flying machine, which we've covered previously on What the Future. This propeller-based flying machine is designed mainly for fun and features carbon fiber for a lightweight design and 3D printed parts, much like the airbike. Jetson recently shared video of the first Jetson race, which the company says is also the first EV toll race. While the airbike isn't for sale yet, the Jetson 1 is available for pre-order now with an $8,000 deposit and $120,000 due when it's ready for delivery, which is estimated to be 2027. The Volonaut airbike isn't just a machine, it's a dream-taking flight. Tomasz Patton turned sci-fi into reality. From the Jetson 1's cocoon to the airbike's open-air rush, with jet propulsion, carbon fiber, and auto-hovering smarts, it's a glimpse of a world where we all ride the skies. But is it too wild? Too risky? You tell me, drop your thoughts below, hit like if you're ready to fly, and subscribe for more VL Extras. The air bike's just the start. Let's keep soaring visual style. See you next time.